guys. Okay, so I'm back because I was excited and I just was thinking all this stuff in my head and so I thought I might as well talk about it. Um, and so anyway, like, okay, so I know I got interviewed and I, I was on the news tonight, like, that's awesome and stuff. Um, however, I'm still like, I really want, I want to go on Good Morning. I want to meet Ellen. I want to. I want other interviews because they just barely scratch the surface of all of the things that dying with style is really about. That I'm really about. Like, um, you know how awesome it would be if people across the world just started dancing around. Um, if people in wheelchairs got paid to advertise for companies. Um, like, these are not bad ideas. <laughs> They're, I mean, it would be cool if people drew on sidewalks. If people found debris on the side of the road and they made it into art and put it up in cities all over the world. By the way, if you do that, hashtag road art so I can find you. Um, but anyway, like, that would be a good thing. Like, it would make the world a happier place like it's not I mean it is kind of crazy now, but it's also not it's like totally not crazy it's I mean it makes so much sense um and so anyway anyway like I was thinking okay so I want I want to go on Good Morning America I want to talk to Ellen I want to get on 60 Minutes I mean I have so much stuff that I need to talk about. I sometimes I feel like um, God, karma, fate, destiny, whatever you want to label it as. I feel like I was put on this planet. I'm in this position right now because um, I have. I have like a message to tell the world I just want to tell I just want to tell them I want to tell them about dying with style I mean thank goodness for YouTube because really YouTube gives me like I mean it is telling the world I am telling you guys hey you know what like world listen to me it is so much fun to dance around town <laughs> like it's a really great stress reliever if you are sad and you go out and you cry dance you can listen to sad songs and stuff and you can cry dance and be like hello from the other side or whatever you know or say something i'm giving you up on you that's a good um cry dance song um but anyway like it's a good way to live life. Finding stuff on the road, like, why not? It's either going to give somebody a flat tire, it's going to just get beat up, it's going to get swept away into a gully somewhere, or whatever, but it's already there. Why not grab it? Why not make it into art? I mean, instead of spending, like, however much money you would be spending for um, some kind of, you know, thing at some craft store, <laughs> you're just getting something for free. All you need to do is buy some supplies. The best supplies for doing road art are like duct tape. However, some colors fade, like red will fade to a kind of yellow. Nice thing about road art, when you put it up, use zip ties or like I had magnets on, um, I made high out of like the yard sale, the H wires. Um, and so I, I always use zip ties or um, something that people can easily take off. Um, if you don't like it, if I accidentally, <laughs> not accidentally, if I put some kind of art up in your yard or on your fence or whatever and you don't like it and you want to cut the zip ties and take it down like that's totally cool I just ask that you would put it up in some other location um just zip tie it up to somebody else's fence zip tie it to that neighbor you really don't like trash
crash up their fence with it. You know, you can do that. Um, it's just debris. It would be on the side of the road anyway. Just remember, yeah, some of the colors fade. You can always give your stuff makeovers. That's what I do. My favorite little stuff, which happen to be aliens, like, for the most part, um, yeah, I have a lot of aliens all over town. Um, but I, they're, they're like my favorite, but sometimes they get, they get either faded or like with the bike seat, um, thing, I had it as a girl with like two pigtails and then, um, like pipe cleaner, you know, weird bun things. Anyway, I took it down and I remade it, um, and so it just, now it has like spikes coming out of its head all over. Um, but you know, I just do it. I do what feels right. I do what feels good. And, um, so anyway, that's what you should do with your art. If you find a hubcap frame, boom, automatic art is going on. You can make it into a dream catcher, like string wire on it, or <laughs> yeah, you could do wire or you could do thread, whatever. Like, um, anyway, make it into art, put it back on the road. Road art is meant to be shared, it's not meant to be profited off of or anything like that. Um, you know, so it's not like you should hoard all your road art. Um, if you want to take it down, yeah, put it up. Anyway, okay, so that's road art, but like the wheelchairs or billboards stuff, that's so important. Proactive humiliation. That is so important. Like, it's such a great way to live. Like, um, proactive death, I do believe, should be an option. Um, it's just changed for me. And, but, like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a very complicated, um, it's, it's a complicated issue. But, um, anyway, so... Like, yeah, I have so many important things that I really need to talk to people about. So, I mean, maybe somebody will give me a chance to talk to people about them. And I'll try to make a list. So, I have, like, okay, this is what I need to do. Because, um, I ramble. <laughs> As you can tell. Alright, I should go now. Bye.